Dr. Sella here. We're on day 88 of the 366 days of sports psychology. Today we're going to discuss when you're not allowed to coach football. Well, that's you right now. As you listen to this in late March of 2020, you're not allowed to coach football. You're not allowed to go to your school right now. It is a unique time in the world. It's World War III without an actual person causing the war. So, you're not allowed to coach football right now. Well, I can tell you this. I was there. In 2009, I was coaching. I was the head coach of a high school in northeastern Pennsylvania. And two and a half weeks before camp was to start in my second year as head coach of a program that I inherited that had a double-digit losing streak, two and a half weeks before camp started, I had a heart attack. The heart attack was caused by sleep apnea. I literally felt back pain earlier in the day. And it went away. And then 12 hours later, I got back pain with a little bit of chest pain. I prayed to God. And God told me to go to the hospital. Said Psalm 91 as I drove myself to the hospital while I was having a heart attack. I didn't know I was having a heart attack. But said Psalm 91. Got to the hospital. Filled out a form. Went in, they did a bunch of tests. I knew the one nurse that was at the hospital. She told me, your enzymes are up. Fell asleep. I fell asleep after that a couple hours later. I woke up and a doctor said, we're going to do a catheterization on you. You had a heart attack. Your heart was down to 20% capacity and you're almost dead. Okay, so I have been at the point where I had a catheter up my groin and my cardiologist, who I've known for years, said to me, You're not coaching football for the next year. So I kind of knew at that point I had to learn how to live without football. So now I wasn't out of it for a a year, but I was out of it for several months. So basically, here's what it comes down to when you're not allowed to coach football, which now hopefully nobody here had a heart attack. But regardless, none of you can coach football right now at the 15,000 high schools in the country because, well... You're not really supposed to do much more than go to the grocery store, if that. Five areas in which to focus. Number one, God. Get back in touch with God. If you're secular, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, this is not a politically correct YouTube channel. I'm not a politically correct sport performance psychologist. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. I believe in the military. I don't believe in the federal government, and I believe in the Second Amendment. So if you're that against it, I'm not going to get your money anyway, so I really don't care what you have to say. I'm looking for the people here that love Jesus, love guns, love the military, believe in self-sufficiency so you don't rely on the federal government to make a living. Number two is family. Boy, you... (laughs) Boy, does God really want you to get to know your family right now. Get to re- get to know them. Because so many times, even though you might be with your family and you do different things and you post that on a Saturday afternoon you took your son and daughter to Chuck E. Cheese, are you really there with them? Are you really there? Is your mind with them? Because so many times you're thinking about how you're going to run the draw play against uh, your opponent's 4-2 defense. Number three is finances. 80% of people are living in debt right now. Four out of every five houses you look at right now, they're in debt. How do you get out of debt? How do you become a lender and not a borrower? Because that really changes the game because it allows you to give. I don't want to sound too much like Dave Ramsey, but really, if you... That's kind of the end game here, is you want to really focus on your finances during this downtime. Number four is health and fitness. Can you do something that allows you to meditate and think about things? Because it helps you do number five, which is goals for your post-convalescence. Because you're stuck right now. What do you want to accomplish when you get out of here? We don't know when we're going to get out of here. It's going to be sooner than earlier. You can't rely on the news because... The news is going to give you all worst case scenarios so they keep you hooked and so you keep watching. And plus, they're giving you a spirit of fear. And a lot of you aren't made to live with a spirit of fear. That's why you became football coaches. And if you do, you can fix that right now. You don't have to live like that. So what are your goals when you get out of here? It's going to be earlier than you think. So 
God, family, finances, health and fitness, and goals for post-convalescence. That's what you do when you're not allowed to coach football. And coaches, if you want to create the elite performance environment, call me. 570-332-0265. 570-332-0265. With the Sports Psychology for Football Academy, you are going to learn advanced strategies to make your team more effective in 2020. And you can bet your tail you're going to be playing in 2020. It's going to happen sooner than you think, so be ready. And you want to be ahead of the game. So give me a call. I'll see you tomorrow for day 89. We'll talk then.